Her garage was originally started in Martinsdale, Montana. Jay Oberg bought that garage from, from a family down there, and then my grandfather, after World War I, came back and started, worked in that garage, and then expanded up here to White Sulphur. And then we actually have the garage in Martinsdale where the bar is now, it was also a bird garage. My grandfather was a very, very smart man. He knew you had to have a broad range of, of things to make it all work together. Some of the pictures we've got here show him hauling telephone poles for the first electrification coming up the mussel shell into Martinsdale. He hauled elk to the Spring Creek Ranch up there for the elk uh, exhibition that they did up there. And of course, being a railroad head in Martinsdale there, all that freight was coming in and he would haul freight but also had the garage. Chevrolet dealership from 1929 until 2010. We do propane and we do liquid fuels and mechanical repairs and wrecker service and oxygen sales and you know in our spare time we might find one or two other things to do so. Well, one of the cool things in Grandpa's diploma, he went to Inland Auto School in Spokane to learn the automotive trade. And in his diploma, it says he was, how does it, it's worded, he's, he's certified in the repair, construction, and driving of automobile cars. Because, of course, the first people that were coming in were coming in in a horse and buggy, and he was having to show them the first driver's education program in Montana to teach them how to drive cars. So, it, yeah, you think about the history of a hundred years and that's the kind of stuff that really does stand out, that a lot of changes in the century. That's the thing, 1941 and 1957 and both of them sold new out of here when we, we had the Chevrolet dealership so they just kind of came back home and they're still here. Uh, we've got nine people on staff between all of the endeavors we're doing but yeah we're, we're open six days a week from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. we do take Sundays off we still pump gas for people when they pull up to the pumps and then of course record service and that type of stuff calls you out in the middle of the night more often than not too. That, so it's, it's a very busy, busy place for sure. It's humbling, it really is, I mean, we just, we know the customer is so important and the customer's gotta be taken care of. And it isn't like we're trying to really show off or do anything else. We're just trying to meet the needs of the community and I guess we've been fairly successful at it over a few years here, so. Take care of the people. That's, I think, ultimately how it works is if you're gonna take care of the people they're going to stay with you, and we're so appreciative of that.